Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. It's quite a big machine, really. Okay, so we're going to have to go with plan B on here. I cannot make that one move. My tractor is not strong enough to do it. I really want to keep this tractor because this one is actually quite good, but the electric tractor is nice and fast on the road. It's helpful. Um, I'm torn. I'm, I'm genuinely torn. So let's go back over here. That's 18,000 and that's 17,000. I'm not going to get a lot between the two. This one is useless. And I did use it a bit for some stuff, but I'm not using it anymore. And I'm wanting to focus on the root crops. So right now, we're going to have to commit to root crops. I'm going to keep the electric tractor because that one does go fast on the road. And I can use that one really well for doing the jobs where I'm running up and down the road. Uh, the fertilizer and stuff like that. When I'm doing fertilizer contracts, I'm not stopping fertilizer contracts. I haven't said that. Um, I've just skipped a whole load at the moment. So the electric tractor, it makes sense to keep that one. And then to sell this tractor plus some machinery in order to buy another tractor that's more powerful that we will be able to harvest the potatoes with. This wasn't quite what I pictured. I was hoping that we would that things would be a little bit easier. Now the other option of course is that I sell that potato harvester that I've bought and in place of that one I go and buy the root crop um the the thing that cut that the home cutter, the one that cuts the home off the top, and then I also go and um sell the potato harvester that I've got and I pick up another one because we've got two options for that over here I can have this little one here 68 horsepower and this one at 72 this is the big one right here that we've gone and bought uh, 16,000 so we could go with one of these like these are both one and a half meters wide so I'm guessing there doesn't seem to be any difference between the two. I cannot see the difference between the two on these. Uh, and then we would also just have to get one of those. That is front mounted and we whiz up and down the field with that one and cut the tops off as well. So we could go and do that option. That's 10 grand for that one. And then it's another 12 grand for one of these, which means that we still need 12,000. So we've still got to make a sale. So I could go and sell this one right here right now. And problem solved. But I want the bigger one. And the bigger one that we've gone and picked up over here, uh, it's still one and a half meters, but it's able to remove the home itself. You don't need the home cutter before using this machine, which is why I like it. That's, that's kind of why I like it. Um, right here, I get 24,889. I'm going to repair for 86, and I get 24,993. So I actually get more doing it like that so there's 25,000 euros for selling that so yeah I'm probably slightly crazy for going in for this option that I've gone for by doing it like this uh, so hmm. I'm having a big internal conflict at the moment as to which option I should take I kind of want to get this vent. It's 115 horsepower. I could go for the engine setup, the bigger engine. Goes up to 150 horsepower. That's 93,000 if I do that. Uh, there's... What have we got in the way of mods? I've got that one. I'm not going for a Deutz. I had a Deutz in the last series. I don't want this. I don't want one in this one. This tractor here is 145 horsepower. If I... Okay, I don't have another option for it. There's no engine options. A bit disappointed with that, to be honest. I thought there would be. Uh, the New Holland. Have you got engine options? You don't either. What is wrong with these tractors? Why don't we have any engine options? I want some alternatives. So this is 100 horsepower here. That is a weird looking tractor. I've got configurations. Again, I 
All right, so let's go to the medium tractors. <laughs> See if we got anything in here that we can use. I got the Case Pro in there, which starts at 170 horsepower. This might be the one that we want. And it's also got the engine set up. We can go all the way up to the 7250 Pro. And it goes 261. That's 143,000 euros, which is very expensive. But it gives a 260 horsepower engine. We can go here and have the 170, which should be enough to deal. It's a bigger tractor all around. So that should be enough to do what we want. And that's at 98,000. I won't get the GPS on there. We'll have to just manually do that. Um... Have we got any modded options? That one's 88,000. This one over here is 98,188. I've got uh, that one, which is 88, 155 horsepower. And configuration, design, engine setup. We got the Magnum 7210. 170, 188, 190, 207, 239, 249, no, 254, 276 for the Steyr 9270. And then we're back again. So we got this one has got a number of different options. It goes all the way up to 276 for 143,000. Seems like it could be a pretty good tractor to go and get. Starts off here at 88,000 for 155 horsepower. That seems like it would be a reasonable value for money option. I don't have any cheap medium range tractors though not really the rest of these are a bit more i've got the class expansion here we've got the small one these are new tractors though and as so many of you have said i can see i focus too much on new tractors so we go with that one 170 this one over here has got some more options so we'd have uh some upgrade options that we'd be able to get a bit later on which is probably a good way forward now we'll set up here we've got wide tires we've got rear twins twins narrows this would be fantastic we could have a narrow tires on here we've got uh standard configuration we got front weights and we have a front attacher that we can use so we've got front weights, we've got a front, uh, we've got a front attached, we've got narrow tires on here. That's 91,500 for that configuration there, which would actually be really good. Having that uh, front link as well would genuinely be a brilliant option to go for. And it's still, I think we're going to do that. Let's go and take some more machinery back. And then we'll also sell this tractor. I really like this Vura, but it's obviously not fit for purpose at the moment. Doesn't do what we need it to do right now, so we will get rid of it. We can always buy it back later if we want the small tractor back. But I think the medium-sized tractor working on our farm is going to be the way forward at the moment. Um, yeah, I did spend rather a long time looking at those tractors. I probably could have done that um, I have spent a lot of time looking at tractors and stuff, haven't I? I will try to reduce the amount of time I do that. I know that does frustrate quite a few of you. So I, I, I will try to address. I'm, I'm trying to work through my issues here. You know, I feel like I deserve at least a little bit of credit. I am trying to work through some of my issues. Uh, so we've got two mowers. Now I can only pick up one mower with this tractor at a time. So it might be better if we just take this tractor and one mower and disappear off back to dealership again and then we use the electric tractor to carry the rest of it. There is a trip that I can make with the small tractor. We'll get rid of that one as well because that's another two and a half thousand. It's a bit more in the kitty to go towards this bigger tractor that we want to get. So I'm going to sell these two right now and then we'll start using the electric tractor I went and got fifty dollars worth of um, fifty euros worth of fuel. Really? You felt that that was the right thing to do to drive out in front of me? Yeah. Well, two can play at that game. So I've I've done a lot with this tractor, this Bura right here. I've I've really enjoyed using this one in this series, but it's time to let it go. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring this one over here, and we're going to bid a fond farewell to the Bura. Bring you over here. I'm going to repair the mower. Yes, and then I'm going to sell it for 13,600. 
Bye bye. And then I'm going to sell that one for another 22,400. Sell. Yes. And there was silence. 73,400. Right. So next up, I'm going to have this one. And this one is quite capable of taking not only the sprayer, but it's also capable of taking the rake. So the sprayer is one that we're going to keep at the moment. And although the sprayer is one that I want to keep, um, I'm sort of tempted to sell that sprayer. How much would... I don't think the sprayer is actually worth anything. I think the sprayer is one of the lowest value items we... Oh, no, it's five grand. It is rather a small sprayer. I don't know. See, I... We... The aim is to do organic farming. We, we want to do organic farming. I didn't do organic farming in the last series. That was just standard fertilizer and everything. This one is going to be organic. And we're not even going to say that the you know fertilizer granules are organic. We either spread manure on our land or we don't spread anything at all. Now, right now, I don't really have that as an option. If we do continue on this series here on this map in FS22, that will be the sort of the bit that we work towards is getting those cows and sort of working along that route. Uh, there's going to be new options in FS22. There'll be... Uh, we could set up a vineyard and, and do stuff like that. So I don't really know what the contract system is going to be like. So we'll still be able to go and earn money through contracts and things like that. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We, we, we don't really know how that's going to uh, work out yet. And I don't know what you're going to want me to do either. I've, I've, I've not had the feedback yet. So I'm, I'm going to wait and see on all fronts on that one. So let's bring you in here. We've got two tractors now. Not two tractors. We've got two machines that I want to sell. So that one can stop there. Lower that down like that, and then we go over here. So we've got you, repair for 43, and I get 10 euros extra there for doing that. Sell. Yep, that one's gone, and then I want to go here, and that one is completely worn out. 4507. Repair for 49. 4566. Still slightly more. So there's another four and a half thousand there. Okay. I'm up to 80,000. I now need this one. So unhitch that. Oh, you were running then. I do just sat there running. And we will get the front mounted mower. That one's first up right here. And then... We've got the tree-related machinery. So I've got that stump grinder, and I've got the one over there, the, the, the log pull machine. So let's go into the garage and have a look. Uh, tree machinery. That one's 3,000, and that one's 1,700. That one was five grand over there. Right, well, I may have to go over and get that. But the, the log winch, that's the one I'm going to get at the moment. And I'll drag that one back to the dealership to sell it. Let's get that. Hook that one on. And off we go. I know this is not the best way to be getting money. Selling all of our hard-earned machinery in order to get money is definitely a bit of a backwards way of thinking. But I still think it's going to be worth it. And yes, if we're absolutely desperate, we can go and do some more contract work. But right now, I do want to focus on the potatoes. Even though this, I know this potato harvest is going to be a rather dull and tedious thing. I don't want to sell this tractor because we're going to want two tractors working this job. We're going to want one working the harvester backwards and forwards in the field, which is the one that we're looking at buying. And we're also going to want... Uh, one tractor which is going to be working the picking up of the potatoes that's going to be a little bit more difficult to do anyway so I'm going to lower that one down there like that and unhitch let me go over here like this right I don't want to sell that one I do want to sell this one it's another 13 grand sell yes 
Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I'm on 93,000. And I want to sell that one for 3,600. 97,000. Now, I have got a bit more that I can sell at home in order to get just a tiny bit more value. But we should be all right. So it was this tractor here. This one. It's the one that we were looking at. We want the front attacher option there. We want wheels. Actually... Michelin and Trailborg, it doesn't really seem to make much difference. Wheel setup, wide, big floaty ones. Ah, Michelin doesn't give me narrow tyres. Trailborg, do. Wide, twin rear, twin everything. And narrow tyres. Nice. Right, so we're going to go with that. That's 91,500. We won't change the rim colour. We will leave it as it is. We're just going to buy that. So 91,500 euros. That leaves me with 5,800 left over, which is not a brilliant number, especially considering I've just sold all of my machinery, but it's not too shabby. Now... I'm not going to need a front weight for this tractor at the moment, but I probably want a front weight for the other one. I've got one front weight back at the yard. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough for the tractor to do the job that we want to do. So I would drive this one back. We'll have a look at the front weight. We won't commit to selling anything yet. We won't commit to buying anything either, for that matter. So let's bring you over here. I can... Actually, I'm going to back... Right, that... I mean, the front weight is fairly big. We'll see what it's like compared to the other one. So this, i got to bring in here. And the one mistake that I've been making each time... Turn the engine off. You need to actually press R so that it starts flashing in order for it to be recharging. And that's something that I haven't been doing. So here is our new tractor. We have a Case 7210. Case Magnum. 7210 right there. I'm going to have a look in here and I'm going to go to the front weights. So at the moment I've got an Agco 650. So 650 kilos on there. Now if we go back into the medium tractors and have a look at the options that this tractor came with originally. We've got the configuration here. I can have 500 kilos as the smallest weight on the front. 900 kilos is a mid-range weight and a 1300 kilo weight as the maximum op no 1700 it goes all the way up to 1700 and then the front attacher so we there's an indication that we do want a reasonable weight this one's only 650 so it's like the smallest weight now if i'm using narrow wheels i don't want a heavy weight on there anyway uh, probably the Agco 1500 would be about right. The Agco 2300 would be too much. That's, that's, that's too much weight. That one would probably be about right for some jobs. But right now, just using that small one with the potato harvester on the small wheels would probably be fine. So we'll stick with that. We won't take anything extra. I like the sound of this tractor. Let's zoom in a bit. doesn't rev hard when you put the accelerator down. Hmm. It's okay. The sound files are okay. I kind of like it. It's working, you know, with the work under load, but there's not enough variation on it there. I feel that it, it's good, but there is room for improvement, but I, I definitely do like the sound that we've got going on here with this one. I'm like, it's, it's a nice touch. So let's see what this is like when we actually get into harvesting some potatoes. I was originally planning to start harvesting these potatoes for this little, little lot of recording that I was doing, 
and be well on my way through them by the time I, you know, finished up for the day. I meant to get the front weight on. I'm going to go and get that one a minute. Let's go bouncing back across our track over here. It's a bit rough there, isn't it? We need to do some work on that. But with just 5,800 at the moment, I'm glad, I must say, that I didn't choose to do anything to the track until after I had gone and dealt with the other things that I wanted to do. Those? Wow. Seemed like it was really slow picking that weight up to start with. It, it really did. It felt like that was a really slow movement when it was picking that one up. But anyway, we've got that front weight on. We'll bring this one round. Very rough down the bottom, but we can deal with that later. And then come back over here. Hook you on. Now, are you going to let me actually harvest these potatoes this time? I got 150 horsepower now. He definitely turned the corner a lot easier than he did last time. So we can bring him over to here. Start him up. Yeah, lower him down like that. Uh, for a minute, I thought he wasn't going to actually work, but he did. He did work. He did it just fine. So we're going to try and drive around the edge of the field a little bit. He goes fast. Well, it's not actually that fast just because I'm having to wiggle and weave quite a bit. Which makes it a bit difficult to drop everything down. But I want to get a round or two around the outside edge of the field before I start the hired help just working up and down. Just because I can. Okay, so... We're leaving piles of potatoes on the floor. I love this. I love this. What's he going to be like pulling it up the hill? And also, what's it going to be like trying to actually pick up these potatoes? I've no idea what that's going to be like. He is definitely struggling going up the hill. And he's sliding sideways as well. So, the harvester itself does leave a bit to be desired. Obviously, this, I mean, this tractor, we've got the ability to upgrade this tractor for about 50 grand to a 270 horsepower tractor, which is more than enough to cover any of the tractor uh, mounted machinery that we might want to get for doing the potatoes. That includes the potato planters potato harvesters as well as sugar beet as well there's the the rootster sugar beet harvester which is pulled by a tractor this one will be able to cope with that without any problem at all if we decide to go for the big engine upgrade so we've got some options available to us if that's what we want to go and do the question is deciding whether or not we want to go and do it i'm liking this though so far, so good with this. Now, I'm going to want to do a couple of rounds around the outside of the field before we start sending the hired help working up and down the rows. And then we can sort of deal with a few extra bits. So let's just pick that one up like that and try and turn here. Go on a bit more like that. There we go. back it round the corner. I'm going to set the hired help going down the hill here. Just to see how well it copes. So we'll bring it over to here. I'll lower that in like that. Get it into the crop a little bit. Oh, I've got the AI extent. Oh, actually, I mean, it's got, I'm going the wrong way for the AI extension at the moment. So I'll just have the normal one. That's it. Lower in. Off he goes. He's directly behind the tractor, so he should be all right for... I don't know what he'd be like turning around at the bottom here. How far is he going to go? 
the hired help almost to the edge of the field and then he's going to try and turn hmm I reckon he's going to struggle to get this one lined up that's what I reckon I mean he might be able to do it we'll let the hired help keep going just for a minute, because I'm curious how he's going to cope with turning round and getting us lined up for the next pass. Because it, usually it'll go round in a big circle to get to the right point. Is it going to just give up and say that we can't go any further? Nope. It's able to get up the hill here at least. Is it going to be able to turn round? Uh, is it uh, not turn round? Is it going to be able to pull this thing up the hill? Don't know about that. It can reverse down the hill. Almost to the edge of the field. And he's away. So there is our potato harvester. In all its glory. Actually harvesting potatoes. This is fantastic. This is this is absolutely brilliant. That was worth the money. It was worth selling everything just to be able to see this in action. This is brilliant. We've got it all working. We don't need the home cutter for this one, which is even better because those things really annoy me. Um, th there's one job that I really get frustrated with is using a home cutter in any kind of harvester um, for work in well, any of it. Like, I, I don't know why, though. I, I, I'm not entirely certain why it frustrates me so much. It just does. I know that it does. Very, very, very... <laughs> very slow coming up this hill but it's still doing it and that's the important thing that's all we got to sort of focus on here it is still actually doing it it is scrambling up that hill so we're going to let it get up to the top here let it turn itself round so it can carry on of course the big question is is it going to be able to because the trailer in the way it's not going to be able to going to want to turn round in a big loop right there and it's going to decide that it doesn't like the fact that there's a trailer there so I'm going to have to just manually bring it on round here uh, I don't ooh let's just see what the AI vehicle extension is going to be like working the field with this harvester I suspect it's going to be utterly useless. That's my guess. It's going to be utterly useless doing it. So I'm just going to bring that in like that. We've started now. So then I want to go Control H like this. And I go to the AI extension. We'll go in here. Wait during unload shouldn't make any difference. I'm going to increase the turn angle on here like that. And we'll go OK. I'm going to close that one off. So we're, we're facing the right way. Is it going to do it? Is it going to be able to drive itself around the field without messing everything up? Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.